guys and welcome back to another episode of Zed Shelter. Today we are going to continue on raiding. We are going to attack this lower level player here who is this level 28 and we're going to just go there and try and take as many things from them as we can. Targeting all of the iron but particularly if I could find some good wood items like if I could find lots of planks um, I might want to do that and if I can find lots of uh of rods. I might get a bunch of the rods too. This kind of sucks that he had stone doors, but we should be able to bop through these pretty quickly. Do not take that long. And I'm hoping that it's just the one wall. If he's got another stone door behind this, it's going to be even worse. There we go. Uh, okay, that stone door is going to kind of suck, but what can you do? All he's got for us is one piece of stone. No animals. And 12 planks. So not even a good haul on that side. So we have to bust down this door to make this trip worth it. Just probably going to use a whole nother axe. So maybe we might even lose two on this one. Depending on where the durability was on uh, one of them. But once this drops down, hopefully the rest of his base is open. Not. Hey, oh, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. The wood wall there. Oh, and Brutus, you're all sad. We don't need to be sad. To be a happy pupper. Okay, this is not going well. We're spending lots of resources now on this guy just because he's got stone walls everywhere. Probably gonna be another small room too. Yep, with one more chest in it. Still, we can't even really take items. Ah, we've already used up four axes on this guy. Probably gonna be another small room and another small room. If it's gonna be another small room after this one, I think I'm just gonna cut and run on this guy because we're not really getting much from him. And we're just blasting through axes like crazy. Okay, at least there's a bunch of chests here. We'll probably leave his flag alone, but maybe he'll have enough to make this worth it. Got some batteries for it. Still not really finding any of the sweet, sweet goods. Ah, I have some ales here. We'll take those. Hopefully. Nope, no. That we want. Okay, this is a higher level chest. And no. Fortunately, we're gonna have to run with what we got here because I'm not gonna use another ax to go through another set of doors. And maybe I'm missing out on some good stuff, but, but that is fine. Sometimes those decisions need to be made. And we'll just cut and run with what we got. I mean, we got a steel nail, which isn't ter too bad. Those are not always the easiest to produce. They take quite a bit of resources and energy. So to nab and net, uh, grab one there, I I'm going to say it's probably not a terrible thing. So that's probably the best thing that we got from him and probably going to be one of the best things we're going to get all day. But that was the guy with the lowest prosperity had walls like that. Let's go see what Derb has. Let's see if he's got any... A good base like that. Hopefully he doesn't. Hopefully it's shit. Shittier the base, the better. They always have good resources or lots of them. See, this is more, more my liking. No, not as much stone. That's probably just all the old buildings. Dead animals. We can just walk right in and do whatever we want. Okay, first door is open. What do we got here? We have some rods and some planks. We'll take those. Bop this door next. Goes in the top portion. Probably the motorcycle. Yep. Okay, so now we want to get one of these walls here. You know what? Let's see if we can bash through this wall here. Hopefully it's not a stone wall. Okay, good. 
Uh, we'll take the copper, sure. Copper ore. Uh, take this here and that there for now. We really haven't found much steel or iron good for our, our troubles here. Trade those out. Oh, we'll leave that there for now. See if we find any. Nothing good there. Nothing good there. Not going well. Might be doubled up. We'll have to see on the map. Are these going to be doubled up? Doesn't look like it. Okay, he's just put them off the wall. You can put them double stack the small chests in one spot, right? So sometimes you can hide a chest from people by doing that. You can put them in a corner or something and then they don't see it stuffed away there. Okay. So, I take the copper. We're going to have to make some decisions. Not that they're going to be hard decisions, but just to see. We'll leave all the food. We don't need to take any of that food with us. Do we want to bust open this wall? We can try. We can just do what's behind it, but I'm pretty sure it's just going to be flag in a chest. Okay. We'll see what's in this chest. picks destroyed and we couldn't take any of that anyway so that was kind of a waste got one last boy here to open up and we don't want any of that so let's go we're gonna run away from these people because we don't have to sit here and raid them anymore oh they destroyed my pants i'm gonna run around in my underwear that's not very good okay so we will delete this we're not gonna want that we'll trade the batteries out for this and we'll drop this. And that will make... It'll only make four nails, so that is better. And we'll drop all of that. Oh, I shouldn't have taken... Why did I take the wood? That was dumb. Stakes were made there. I probably should have left the wood logs behind and took in some of the iron stuff, but... Oh well. So be it. But I wanted the rods, mostly because... I need to make some more axes most likely because I think we've used up most of them and that should get us at least two more axes. I think we're pretty much, yeah we only, only have three left so it probably would not be a good idea to go into another raid with only our limited amount of items here. So I'm just going to drop them all off here and we'll grab what we can grab from this point. that. That was a whole bunch of rods. This should only, unfortunately, only get us two more items. So I will have to accept this loot. Like this. And we'll just have to drop these off. Or we'll drop off our steel iron items. Copper and steel and the nails. And we'll have to make ourselves Three axes, two picks, and we have to get ourselves some pants. I don't want to run around without pants, so let's uh, let's get this whole pants situation sorted. I'll probably do my boots too, but we'll just do the pants for. There we go. Pants are all the way back up to per uh, perfect. And we've got ourselves some items here to go trade. Our last person of the day will take all of their good stuff. Okay, who, oh, sorry, player 964786. It's gonna have to be you. Gotta take those easy wins when you can find them and then just go ahead and grab all of the goods from them. I mean, doesn't have much of a base, but I'm, I'm hoping that he still has some good stuff. We'll see what ends up happening. Always open up the opening chest, especially if they've never moved it. Got ourselves some copper. 
That's about it. But that's not terrible. Makes it worth it already, just grabbing some copper. Take some leather in the oven. Oh man, now I'm a big old stinky boy. That's one of the worst things in the game. Nothing really of value there for us. Got some batteries, which we'll grab those for now. Maybe we'll take some copper ore, depending on how we find. Uh, the chemistry workbench fragment. Don't need it, but if you guys do need people's like fragments and people have them, definitely take them because they do count for you. Adrenaline shots. We'll see how many we can stack, but probably not going to be the res the item we end up going with. We will take this. We'll throw that in there for now. Time to go open up the last room, which it might just be his flag. Ah, uh, but there's still some more chests. Perfect. Iron. Got some wood, not that we're gonna take it, but we'll see. Let's just go see what's in the last couple chests here. Got four. That's a good stack of nails. We might have to take those nails. Again, like this is why raiding the, the lower level people are so good, because they just have so any things right like the, the higher level person with all the walls and everything we didn't find anywhere near this good of stuff oh so, yep that'll be traded out that behind this behind that behind behind i guess we're gonna have to go to a new place to drop that off and we've got everything we needed At least to call this another successful plundering run. Yeah, we didn't get any credit. We didn't really move our rank, but that really wasn't the goal for today. Today was just to go out, get more shit, is what we did. How can you complain about that? And how easy that was just to get so much iron and wood stuff and copper. It's probably the easiest way to get copper by far. Like, if you're out there mining the raw copper to take it all back here, I'm sorry, but I think you're wasting your time because it's so much easier just to get it. Even, like, the iron ores and stuff. Like, it's just ridiculously easy to get all of that stuff. So, uh, what do we have to do? We gotta just, uh, because we can't accept the last piece of loot because we don't have enough space. Don't we have... Oh, because it won't stack the stupid battery. Okay, well, we'll just dump this bent pick there. That way we can go and accept our last little bit of loot. Why not accept our little lucky chest there? We'll just put all this stuff away. Actually, none of it goes in here. Actually, this does. It does, because we need those for our beast cages. Throw away our planks. And I'll take care of the rest of that stuff when I get to it. But that is going to be it for this episode of Raiding, guys. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.